going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Scott Shirtson, alongside Mr. Ryan O'Regan, and down below, a person who is just about to have a question who unfortunately just got cut off because of the intro. I apologize for that big time. Mr. Wait, Tromo, wait, Le- Mr. Tromo Legend himself, creator of Toxic Avenger, creator of such unknown names as Mr. James Gunn, Trey Parker, Matt Stone, <laughs> Cannibal the Musical, which I've got right over here, and a bunch of other stuff as well. We have Mr. Lloyd Kaufman, Uncle Lloydy, God amongst horror films, really nice dude, and um, really that's basically the best way we're going to start this. How you doing, sir? Oh, oh. I gotta say, his musical intro was a lot better than ours. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Although you can make the argument that his music blows. Like you guys yeah. made me nervous. I this I play that piece beautifully, and uh, with Scott, he's one of those. You know, it's he it makes me nervous. He's such a powerful person, dude. And, you know what? I'll I'll, I'll, say, I'll say I'll gotta say this, and thank you by the way. But um, you know, I'm damn good when it, when it comes to musical instruments. I am really good with a with a wood block. I've got great no, timing with the woodblock. Yeah, so this is a woodwind, a woodwind here. Uh, <laughs> and if so. I'm not mistaken, uh, um, the guy next to you, uh, he, he's, uh, uh, yeah, that he's, guy, what's his name? Ryan? It's Ryan. Ryan? Yeah, Ryan. Of course, we know each other, I think. Did yeah. we meet Ryan? We've met a couple of times throughout the uh, convention <laughs> circuit. Uh, our mutual <laughs> friend, uh, Renee Saproxy. Mm-hmm. Uh, would probably would have introduced us to her. That's right. And Genevieve course, Barassi, yeah. too, and you know Debbie Rashawn and a bunch of them, too. So, Well, uh, Ryan was yeah, on... Uh, that's the thing. I was like, I'm looking over the um, IMDb when, for Shakespeare Shitstorm that we're going to be talking about earlier, and I'm like, oh, great, Renee's in it. And then I'm looking through, and it's like, <laughs> oh, uh, Genevieve is in it. Yep. Um, Dolby's in it. Tommy Pistol's in it. Nadia White's in it. I'm like, am I in this movie? I'm not even sure if I'm in this movie. I'm going to look through <laughs> it. you got such a star-studded cast. Yeah. Outstanding work. There's got to be uh, 2,000 people, plus uh, several trained whales. And by mm-hmm. the way, the hashtag is part of the hashtag Shakespeare's blank. Okay. Uh, I had that in my title. Had that Eduardo, in my title. Eduardo, can we adjust that at the bottom there? Yeah, I shouldn't have used that title. My wife told me not to do it. Not yet. But but Gabe Friedman, who uh, with whom I made mm-hmm. a big flop called Pool Tree Guys, he... Uh, he said, "No, you got to use that. You Shakespeare shitstorm. That's going to be a great title." So I used it, and uh, no film festival would take the movie. My wife is pissed off. Figure one, yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, hash, I should have. And my five-year-old, uh, uh, what do you call it, grand monster? She <laughs> had a, a little uh, Disney umbrella, and then she held it over her head, and she said, "I'm going to have a brainstorm." Right? Pretty clever for a five-year-old. That's nice. what I. I should have called the mo- oh, excuse me. I should have called the movie Shakespeare's Brainstorm. It's a much better title. It's it's all about what Prospero is, you know, his brainstorm. And, you know, you know and basically what, a sweet old man in his declining years, <laughs> whose only hope, his only valuable uh, asset is friendship with Ryan and the uh, grinder <laughs> relationship with uh, Scott. Yes. Uh, Now, in this particular case, when it comes to a film such as Shakespeare Shitstorm, talk to us a little bit about it. Hashtag. Yes, hashtag. I'm trying trying to be, like, all serious and, like, you know, like, you know, interview credit. You You use hashtags for everything. Yes. You know, in this case, when it comes to the film, hashtag Shakespeare uh, Shitstorm, talk to us a little bit about it. Explain to us exactly what is a Shakespeare? Is that some kind of a new alcoholic beverage? You know, from Michelob, Michel- Michelob, brand new Shakespeare. Now, um, well, it was a, a, a presidential slogan of William McKinley. Uh, okay. He hold, as he was a practical joker, and he'd hold his hand, and he'd, Shakespeare, mm-hmm. kick in the rear or something like that. Nice. <laughs> Big joke. So. That's why McKinley got assassinated. And, you got, be- and we got Theodore Roosevelt. So bad jokes work. Exactly. And, you know, who knows? Basically, if McKinley wasn't assassinated, maybe he'd be on Mount Rushmore. You don't know. Very true. Very true. Well, in any event, back to Lloyd Kaufman. Uh, yes. Uh, Lloyd, uh, tell uh, us about Lloyd. 
By the way, that I, the tune I played for you, uh, mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lloyd. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, nice spin. Not... Huh? Very nice spin on it. Thank you. <laughs> See, we needed we needed a closed captioning on that. You know, like subtitles and everything. But the music. Uh, the music. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. You know, you got I me. Mean, there's another. You got Shakespeare, Shitstorm in the can. You've had so many movies at this point. Um, well, here's the I, thing about the hashtag Shakespeare Shitstorm, uh, Ryan, may be my last movie, Scott. And, really? Uh, no. Well, I don't have another half a million dollars for one, and I have not found a script yet uh, um, uh, that I really feel that I'd be willing to give some serious blowjobs to get the money to make that. <laughs> so if you guys well, find a wonderful one-of-a-kind script, you got, yes, you're willing to give your all to the industry, though. I'll give you that. Well, that, that does raise a good question, though, because, I mean, yeah. considering all the work that you have done, whether it be Toxic Avenger, Nukem mm -hmm. High, anything in trauma, and everything outside of trauma, what does it take for a movie to be worth your time? Well, first of all, I've written seven books. Mm -hmm. The first one, my memoir, goes into a lot of... It's called All I Need to Know About Filmmaking I Learned from the Toxic Avenger. Nice. And the first book that I wrote um, uh, actually was written by James Gunn, who uh, <laughs> made a little, couple of movies recently that uh, I have. Uh, I can't remember. I've, I've heard of him. That's yeah. Like, I, I think he made a TV show, too, with some wrestler guy, too, or something. You know? Pacemaker. Pacemaker. Yeah, Pacemaker. <laughs> At the hospital. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the guy with the, the thing. He started in a hospital <laughs> in the series. I'm about to go to a hospital. By the way, Pacemaker, if you look carefully, James is such a nice guy. He put up, uh, I think there's a blood sucking freaks poster and a toxic mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes. stuff. The death by temptation. Where, yep. I didn't know they had that stuff. You know, and technically you are in that movie universe because you were in the Suicide Squad. Yes, you had your cameo. Very true. That is yeah. true. Uh, you're one of the, you're one of the few people who's both in the MCU and the DCU at the same time. Because also you had an appearance in Guardians of the Galaxy too in the jail. Correct. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Uh, and you so know, the Toxic, the toxic hmm. Avenger has been in more, I think, than any other uh, superhuman hero, right? He's got the TV show. He's got the, the four movies. He's got a cart, a, 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 about 200 items that are out there in, in circulation. A Broadway musical, the Toxic mm -hmm. Avenger musical, which a, a, a now a big billion dollar movie mm -hmm. being made in... Uh, Hollywood by legendary with uh, the Peter Dinklage and Kevin Bacon mm -hmm. and Taylor Page, all sorts of stuff. And and uh, uh, I mean every element, every media there is toxic. And I don't know that any other, I don't know that other superheroes have had every single uh, uh, what uh, media. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Only well, one I'm closest would probably be Spider Man, but I think your musical probably killed fewer people than his did. So you got that going for you. <laughs> <laughs> and also his jersey too, so you got to you know. Oh, jersey! Jersey the represent. <laughs> By the way, gentlemen, here's something that we want to do. Uh, the fans want to do this, and I think it'd be a lot of greetings. Fun. By the way, from Brazil too. We got you know Brazil loves you. <laughs> oh yeah, well uh, Flavio, who uh, yep. was my son, he is now living in uh, Brazil, and he's the Troma's rep uh, in South America, and doing a great job, getting us a lot of uh, free screenings. Isn't that great? Hell yeah. Awesome. Hell yeah. So <laughs> more money. It's wonderful. But yeah. he's he's working hard. He's he's you'll see. You know, I think mm -hmm. we're gonna see some action in Brazil. Also in Portugal, where we made mutant blast. They speak Portuguese in Brazil and Portugal. Mm -hmm. And uh, we produced a movie in a uh, mutant blast that uh, uh, terrific. It's in Portuguese with English subtitles, so our fans prefer it that way. And it's great. It's uh, uh, Fernando will be the Fernando Alla will be the next uh, uh, James Gunn, I think, or Eli Roth or Trey Parker. Or whatever. No, oh, uh, so you're already given the uh, Lloyd Kaufman boost. Basically. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, putting pressure on. <laughs> well, here's what we want to boost. Um, there is a hashtag, and I'm sure you know about it, called uh, Oscars fan favorite. And mm -hmm. apparently, the Oscars have put something out where they want the fans to uh, give their favorite movie. Mm -hmm. Since, uh, because, as beautiful and as fascinating and as exciting and as full of sex and violence as the uh, power of the dog uh, was. <laughs> <laughs> was. 
how incredibly boring it was. I don't think that would be an Oscar fan favorite. So yes. uh, we were suggesting, uh, actually our fans have done it. Uh, our fans started swamping hashtag, uh, hashtag Oscar, uh, hashtag Oscars fan favorite. Mm -hmm. You can find it and go there and, and uh, uh, type in hashtag Shakespeare's shitstorm and yeah, yeah. Uh, see how many times we can, how nice, wouldn't it be great if the Hollywood snot bags were <laughs> what is that? Hashtag Shakespeare shitstorm. What is that? Yeah, yeah I don't think that's going to get. I don't think so. Not when you have yeah. like you know. Not, the, you're not exactly coy, Lloyd. Certainly not. Yeah. No. Yeah. Not not when you have all the stuff basically involving you know depression, you know dark brooding things, you know violin music, and. Well, can you put? Yeah. Can you publicize this idea to tell the truth? Oh yes. To go oh, to no. hashtag. Oscar fan, Oscar's fan favorites. You, have, you you know you can look up the real whatever this correct spelling is. Yeah, we'll put that hashtag along with your hashtag, and it'll all be tagged up. Yeah, well, yeah I was going to say Blackington's got you know he's got the yeah. So we got uh, oh, hashtag Shakespeare yeah. Richard store. We got hashtag uh, hashtag Hollywood snot bags. We're going to try and make that a thing now too. <laughs> <laughs> Comment just came through YouTube. <laughs> the thing that I should be uh, fairer about is. Uh, uh, ninety nine point nine percent of the people in the mainstream they are scumbags, but that little tiny sliver, like James Gunn, Eli Roth, uh, mm -hmm. Jay, Trey, and Matt, uh, uh, you know, people who've come out of trauma, uh, mm -hmm. and people like John Voight is uh, a little crazy, but these are great people. They're wonderful people. They're intelligent. They're thinking. They they're not afraid to give their opinion. <laughs> John Voight sure isn't afraid to give his opinion. He, he's yeah, but John Voight farted on me once. So well, he's he's a great guy. He's a good. Yeah, buddy. he farted on me. It stuck. Well, it <laughs> Dude, he walked by and let one go. In some places. No, very, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. John Voight farted. Yeah, he farted on me on the whatever the Showtime show was with Lee Schreiber. I forget. Uh, Ray I Donovan. That. Well, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, she farted a lot. Uh, Angelina. She was famous mm -hmm. for farting. Well, I mean, she forwarded, she gave her blood away to, you know, and put them in jars. And she did a lot of things. <laughs> anyway, great people. I, I spent a lot of time with her when she was 12 years old uh, with John. And uh, they both terrific. And, uh, you know, he's a little more right wing than uh, you guys are probably. But, but you know, great people. Uh, John Batham, with whom I worked on Saturday Night Fever. A mm -hmm. friend, a wonderful person. He loves movies. He's talent. He's everything you want. John G. Avelson, director of Rock. Oh, yeah who I knew for 50 years was the best. Decent, fought for his rights, fought for art. Uh, uh, billions of people saw his films. Uh, Rocky, yeah, well, Rocky Kid. Every movie he did was really good. Not all successful, but terrific. And the movies that Avelson got fired off of. <laughs> Saturday Night Fever, the Howard Stern movie. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Serpico. <laughs> Oh God! He and I were buddies during all this time. Well, you had an appearance in uh, Rocky too. He, Rocky, he, he, yeah. he he fought. He fought. You know, yeah. good for him. And a, a perfect guy. Very good guy. And no. Cry Uncle. Mm -hmm. If you want to have some laughs, see Cry Uncle, the film that John J. Avelson directed before uh, Rocky, hmm. and uh, you'll see Uncle Lloyd in there with playing a, a stone hippie. I was the uh, production manager, and uh, one of the uh, I, I, I raised a little money for Cry Uncle. So you can see it on Troma now, Ryan. You can see it on awesome. Now. So oh, that's right. You do have a whole complete uh, yep. network now, don't you? We do indeed. A wonderful platform, and I hope you could help us out and promote Troma now. Absolutely, the, uh, it's yeah. the future, but now. And uh, your first month is free, Scott and Ryan, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of gay movies. In case you're interested. And not um, the wrong oh, no, 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 we're, we're partners, but we're not like you know, partners. Partner. <laughs> well, but see, my wife may have an argument on that one. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm still single, so yeah, yeah. well, that's we met on Tinder, but no, on uh, Grindr. <laughs> yeah, Grindr, did I, I, I swipe left or swipe right with you? I forgot, you know, what's hot with me? Is <laughs> reject, <laughs> stamp reject. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, please, uh, fans and you guys, please. Check out, uh, subscribe to Troma Now because mm -hmm. it's better than Netflix. And uh, we're the last of the independent studios. And every film on Troma Now, as well as every short, every music video, every Uncle Lloyd's uh, 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 Make Your Own Damn Movie vi video lessons, they're all there. And you get the first month absolutely free. 
and uh, then it's only four nine four ninety nine a month, and it's growing. Uh, believe it or not, it, it, uh, people the word of mouth. You see the word of mouth. Hey, listen, that's the biggest word. You know, that's the best advertiser. You know, yeah, happy, I mean, if I had to pick between the giving my money to Jeff Bezos and Amazon or mm-hmm. you and Troma, five bucks now, easily goes to you. Now we do have a we do have a question for you, Lloyd. That came in. Who is yes. the most person? Who is the most difficult person you ever had to work with? Apparently us right now. But oh yeah, probably. Oh no doubt. Yeah. But, I mean, not counting today in general and what we're doing before this. You guys are great. Uh, uh, it's too bad you're Jewish, but you're wonderful people. Um, <laughs> hey, you uh, know nobody's perfect. You know. <laughs> yeah, you know that Oregon blood. We, t- oh, my we try, but we do it again. <laughs> well, actually, you know, I should be serious because uh, in my lifetime. I don't believe that uh, uh, Jews that, well, that we have been under more attack uh, in our country and the world. So uh, I shouldn't be joking. And I apologize to all you yeah. Jews out there. I apologize. Uh, this is one self-hating, self-hating Jew who believes that we have to fight, that there's mm-hmm. terrible anti-Semitism. And it's ingrained. It's, it's endemic in our, in our newspaper. It's unbelievable what people uh, accept and what they say. Right, it's human nature, I think, to hate. So, would you say that the most difficult person to answer your question, to answer the question, was yourself? Well, <laughs> that is very true. I, I'm a manic depressive, but um, mm. I think maybe I'm trying to think of who were really difficult people. And um, I remember we had to do a uh, as a favor to I can't remember who it was. Oh. Uh, 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 oh boy, he's a, a really important independent producer and a great guy. Uh, his family owns a toy sh- uh, uh, business, mm-hmm. and he made Oliver he produced Oliver Stone and produced uh, uh, Brian De Palma movies. Okay, uh, uh, classics. What the hell is you'd know his name? Um, he ought to be getting an, a, an Oscar. They ought to give him a. Uh, a Lifetime Achievement Oscar for great independent films. Uh, and I'm sure some of his movies have won Oscars. Mm. Oh, Christ, what the hell? Is Pressman, Pressman, okay. uh, Pressman. Pressman uh, I can't remember. Any rate, uh, he uh, asked us to shoot a screen test for, I think he was trying to make a movie of, if I remember correctly, it was a Gilbert and Sullivan uh, hmm. show. Pe- oh, Pirates, of Penzance. Oh, I mean, Pirates of Penzance is probably their most famous one, yeah. I think he was trying to make a movie of that, and he was doing a screen test for Madeline Kahn, mm-hmm. and he asked, oh. me, he asked me to shoot it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and and the trauma, you know, we had the trauma team, uh, you know, my my uh, crew, who were like the Three Stooges, <laughs> and uh, Madeline Kahn was an absolute bitch. She was awful. Wow. She was... <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I don't think it was us, but whatever it was. And I, I uh, you know, I had to do the screen test pretty tight. And she was mouthing, you know, I hate you and you uh, scumbag and fuck you. <laughs> I don't think it was me. She, I, she didn't know me from Adam. I hope. Uh, I mean, maybe yeah. she mistook you for Mel. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah, what it was. Was <laughs> maybe. Well, she loved Mel. She might have seen uh, Squeeze play a waitress or I, uh, wow! I, <laughs> I think she was upset with with making the uh, screen test or something. Mm. I've been lucky. I haven't had any real, you know. We've had a, the nice thing about uh, here's a good thing for you, uh, for you uh, film students, if you can shoot in sequence because then oh, yes. if you have a, uh, a uh, hashtag. <laughs> if you have a, a blank head, uh, you can f- get rid of them. We, uh, you can uh, fire them and uh, or rewrite and kill them off. Or, you know, the problem with the Hollywood movies, when you're spending all that money uh, and you are, are using SAG actors, their deal is if you use an actor on Monday and, he's, mm-hmm. and you don't use him till Friday, you still have to pay him, pay him for the, pay them, sorry, not him or her, you pay them for the intervening days. And... Uh, oh, days, you know. <laughs> Uh, and and uh, you can imagine what the deals are with big stars, the kind of mm-hmm. money. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to say what uh, how much Peter Dinklage is getting for uh, uh, Toxic Avenger, but uh, you could uh, make uh, beaucoup de trauma films with what he's <laughs> getting for uh, about two hours. No, not that's not true. He's he, but you, it's unbelievable. And, uh, no, and I mean, yeah, as long as you're not making Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, he is absolutely. <laughs> yeah, 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 the problem with that, we talked about that a couple weeks ago. 
was the yeah. best. That was great. Yeah. Uh, anyway, he, he how 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 courageous of legendary mm -hmm. and Macon Blair, a uh, wonderful director, to to uh, take uh, have Toxie be uh, Peter Peter Dinklage. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I even I couldn't I, come up with something as crazy as that. That's I was going to ask you about that because I mean, Toxic Avenger started out, you know so long ago and it's just grown into this cult following and now you have people that are you know at that level in basically in the next uh, toxic movie and it's got to be in some ways mind-blowing to be like this thing that i did got me this and i mean my god i mean i had the action figures 30 years ago well oh, I, I love toxic yeah. crusaders absolutely yeah. i think it's a good uh the uh, Toxic Crusaders uh, Crusaders were a very big hit over there in the Middle East, by the way. Uh, hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That, that was my first introduction Crusaders. before Toxic I met Toxie or some of the original yeah. movies because I was too young to at the point. Mm -hmm. But the humor, the writing of yeah. that show, it's like even that ongoing joke throughout the entire series is like, you know, the one guy was like, well, what if the Toxic Crusaders happen to come in and ruin everything? And he's like, don't be ridiculous. Every <laughs> episode. Every, like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, they had the Lloyd family. Uh, well, you know, Jeff Sass and I wrote some of those uh, ourselves, mm -hmm. but the talent who wrote it were people from Laugh-In, mm -hmm. all you know, really good television comedy writers. Uh, I don't yeah. recall the names, and they're all dead now. But uh, uh, one, they got it. They and the company that did the cartoons, uh, who did the Teenage uh, Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoons, mm -hmm. uh, they understood trauma. The guy who was the producer guy uh, was a fan, and he used the trauma humor. Uh, it's just he uh, cut out the, um, you know, anal sex and all that stuff. And, yeah, uh, they, it doesn't work well in Fox Kids in the morning, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were the number one cartoon on Saturday morning, a movie that nobody would book, that nobody at the Cannes Film Festival would uh, uh, license to distribute mm -hmm. in 1983. And um, look at it now. And that's another lesson for you young filmmakers. Word of mouth. That's the mm -hmm. big weapon that mm -hmm. we all have. Uh, you too, uh, because of uh, uh, you can't buy that. Rupert Murdoch can spend two hundred million dollars, um, or not Rupert Murdoch, uh, uh, Steven Spielberg, two hundred mm -hmm. million, two hundred million dollars to promote West Side Story. But I'm sorry, uh, you know, you need the word of mouth. And that went nowhere. That that was I think it's arguably his first his first ever box office bomb. Was it a bomb? Was it a flop? It's it only it, it hasn't recouped the two hundred million. It might not even broken a hundred million. Sure. I mean, that's still the asterisk of you know the COVID era, obviously. Yeah, but um, plus it did play against Spider Man. So I mean, which well, one also, are you going to choose? West Side Story had all that uh, nobody. What this music? What the mm -hmm. heck? What the heck? And the kind of what kind of music was that? It was, it was punk. Uh, what was it? I guess. <laughs> Gotta modernize it, but yeah, well, we'll see. Uh, you know exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's such a great show, and I I haven't seen the Spielberg thing, but mm -hmm. I guarantee you, it's a good film. I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, they, they, well, they filmed Absolutely. it in Jersey oh. over in Patterson. So. Yeah, uh, Would never bash Spielberg over that. Say that again. There's others. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. What? Go ahead, Ryan. Say it again. No, I'm saying I've never bashed Spielberg over West Side Story, <laughs> even though. Well, uh, I, I did bash him for AI when he made AI. I was a little... A little Jurassic bit. Park 3, I would consider, because he was still exec producer of that one, too. Of which one? Jurassic Park 3. Oh, I missed that one. But but again... A lot of people did. Don't worry you haven't it. missed much, believe me on that. <laughs> He's incredibly talented. No question about it. No matter what he does, it's worthwhile. Even if you uh, hate him. Another know, question for you, basically. Guys. It's just interesting mm -hmm. and, and brilliant. What what can you say? And, and, mm -hmm. and he should be... You know, he must be so happy that Lloyd Kaufman. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, really? You know? Thank his lucky star. Yes. Lloyd Kaufman on this on this fledgling network that basically hit the website just went live um, <laughs> as a soft launch. But a uh, question for you in this case, if it came in also. Right now, who would you love to cast in this current generation? You know, Starz Johansson, Ryan Reynolds, maybe, a little Rock. You could be the, have the Rock as Toxie. That would work kind of well. <laughs> Uh, well, that's that's the nice thing. You can go to Toxet. You can go uh, all different directions. Thanks to Legendary and Macon Blair and Peter Dinklage. You, mm -hmm. I mean, really, we're well. Troma has always been ultra uh, uh, for the underdog and uh, ultra uh, diversified and all that. So uh, this is per uh, the fact that Toxie can uh, become diversified. Very cool. But who yeah. whom whom would I like to work with? You know, I'm always I I, I don't really think in terms of stars. You know. Um, um, Ryan and, 
and Scott Church and uh, uh, yeah, you know Ryan and uh, Scott. Uh, I, I, I oh, well, see, you, are you sure? Because remember, I almost killed you once. Literally, remember? Because remember, remember, I was driving you out to New Jersey. We almost had that accident when you were recording me. I was just, filming you. I wasn't just. Yes. Me, yeah. So in this case here, I mean, are you sure you still want to try and cast me after we had that accident? I think it was on the FDR or, or had that near accident on the FDR. Oh, it's like uh, it was somewhere you went up a one way. You went up an exit. Uh, Did I? Yeah. You oh, went. Oh, dear God. It's even worse than I remember. But you went <laughs> up an off uh, ramp. Uh, uh, you know, you went off a ramp onto a uh, traffic, oncoming traffic. Uh, yeah, cast him, but don't let him do his own remember, I think I blocked that one out of my mind. <laughs> Where were we going, by the way? We were going to be in a movie that you produced. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, I was unit producer, and uh, I, Brian O'Halloran from Clerks Letter mur uh, murdered me. It was a movie called Bloody Slumber Party. Yes, um, I was. That was that the one where Larry Rosen had like that six minute makeout scene where it was just like one long ass kiss, and then you, and it was, if you remember that at the end of it, it was just. Um, I, remember right I, 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 I remember that I wanted a six, uh, a six minute kiss with Larry Rosen, but, uh, yeah. I, I don't recall uh, seeing his movie. How was it? It was okay. You know, I died in it, like mentioned, um, Brian O'Halloran, uh, Joey D'Onofrio from Goodfellas, uh, Debbie Rashawn, you know, there's a few, there's, you know, some of the horror people you, you know, you've worked with tell, before, uh, tell uh, Susie the, Lorraine. What's that? Tell the Mr. Uh, what's her name again? Ryan? Oh, uh, Larry, yeah. Larry, Larry, Larry. Larry. Larry, yeah. Larry, yeah, Ruben. yeah. Larry Rosen. Rosen. Uh, yeah. One of my best friends. I know him so well. Uh, <laughs> send me a link. I'd love to see it. Yeah, sure. I'll buy the DVD. Uh, unless he cut me out. He cut me out. Maybe that's why. He, Dude, know. if he cuts you out, then basically we can sue him for that because I think there's somewhere <laughs> in the contract that we're going to write up and say that it was actually done back in back then. I know uh, people that, that knows where he lives. That's all that matters. Exactly. I know where he lives. I've been there. Okay, that's funny yet. We'll get gas, food, and tolls yet. I, but I do think it's on Amazon or like Fubo or a few of those also. Wow. So, yeah. So he's got it on a couple of different places. Good for him, um, that's great. So but yeah, I'll email, I'll email you the link. That's fine. Well, wow. also, if you're talking to him, he might want to submit it to Troma now. I mean, you get a little money and you get more eyeballs, and but it's very little money, just so you know. Well, okay. I do have a couple yeah, people that actually, huh? I okay. do have people, a couple of people that do want to audition for you too. You know, not just Ryan, for example, but I've gotten a couple in the comments there. You know, it's like me, you know, uh, Robert Leckington just said Robert Leckington. It's all he had on that because it's all, all you need to know. But, well, uh, keep, yeah. Keep an eye on my Twitter and my Instagram or my mm -hmm. – um, uh, I'm, I'm doing a little bit with Reddit. Uh, so, But I do my own Twitter and my own Instagram. So uh, keep an eye there. And we reach – you know, I'm looking for the script now. I've been yapping all over the Twitter and uh, if somebody sent me a decent script. Uh, I'm just too late. I, I, you know, I don't, I, right? I'm just not focused right now. There isn't something has really, you know, like Shakespeare's Shitstorm, The Tempest was my uh, hashtag Shakespeare's Shitstorm. The Tempest. Ah, yeah. yeah. The Tempest, uh, as Ryan knows, is my favorite. Uh, oops, sorry, old people drew. It's my favorite. Uh, and you've noticed that about old people. They, when they eat, they spit. You don't want to go to a cocktail party when they're, I never <laughs> eat the hors d'oeuvres at a cocktail party and I stay away from anybody over 40. Who's eating those things on the toothpick uh, toothpicks because they spray all the smell? Yeah, you can you can attend the party, just stand behind them. You know, then you're good. <laughs> That's true. Anyway, uh, Shakespeare, the Tempest, my mm -hmm. favorite uh, Shakespearean play, and I would have shot it when uh, James Gunn was around, but I didn't want to do the Tempest until I was old, so I could really feel in my heart, soul, and brain what Prospero was going because the play mm -hmm. is. Uh, as I see it, is all about uh, losing power, yeah, and uh, boobies, and also about uh, big farmer and. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah, that commercial in the beginning was freaking genius. My God, I love that commercial. Well, that's how, that's my daughter, my daughter Lily Hayes. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, okay. Wow. Dude, I, I remember watching that thing, and oh my God, this is this is genius. Yeah, she because did. It, yeah. <laughs> she shot it. She did it all. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, so, so, so tell us a little bit about uh, hashtag Shakespeare. Uh, by the way, Lily Hayes, uh, eldest daughter, she has a, uh, she finished three short films called uh, Innards. Very mm -hmm. funny. Uh, if you Innards. want to see them, uh, text me and I'll, or email me. I'll have her send you links. 
you yeah, I got your I got your cell number somewhere. I think it's on an old phone though. That's my fault. Okay, email me and I'll, yeah. yeah, whatever. Anyway, you got it. Uh, you have yeah. my cell number. So now is she working pretty much in the same kind of work that you've done with like uh, the gore, the blood, the splatter, the vomit, oh, diarrhea? Sad. You know, just really the the grossness, the realism of it. No, she's uh, she. Uh, well, first of all, she's got two kids, uh, and she <laughs> so she's got a lot on her plate. And uh, she, well, she, we we did a cartoon together that she wrote called "A Very Trauma Christmas." Mm -hmm. She also wrote and directed mm -hmm. our Halloween uh, special uh, called "A Halloween Carol," uh, based on the on the uh, Dickens uh, Christmas mm -hmm. Carol. So we've been working together, uh, and she and another daughter I have are, um, are now uh, working on a, a ten-year project about the trauma. It's been going on a long time. Oh, so just like one big like uh, biography about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Huge, and our fans contributed to it ten years ago. Our fans donated money to do a follow up to uh, the documentary "All the Love You Can." Mm -hmm. and we all went back to Can ten years later. The same people, and uh, and then my daughters fell in love with it, and they want to. They're expanding it. Uh, our fans helped uh, pay for the initial filming, and then our daughters have been filming some more and i think it's going to be very interesting and julie and roger corman okay the executive producers oh the corman's nice yeah that classic name's there too oh that, i mean that's pretty much right up with lloyd i mean when you're they're talking like b-movie no, yeah, production they're in the pantheon and mm -hmm. and again they're there when i talked about the half of one percent <laughs> definitely roger corman the best mm -hmm. and julie the best stan lee a prince the mm -hmm. nicest guy in the world yeah well, another one Lemmy, uh, the nicest guy, uh, you know, he pretended. Oh, yes. Fun. The narrator of uh, Tromeo and Juliet, right? Mm -hmm. He had more parts in our movies than that. So I think he's the most uh, casted person in Troma movies. He, didn't, he and Stan Lee, actually. Mm -hmm. And Lemmy's last movie was the Return to Return to Newcomb High, in which Stan Lee also, uh, I think that may have been his last movie. Mm -hmm. oh, Pastor Pussycat cool. Kill Kill just came in in the comments, too, Roger Comer. Uh, uh, well, the, the lineage, the legacy. Oh, wait a minute, that's not fast. Tr Trauma's in everywhere. Oh, yeah. fast to pussycat kill kill is uh, uh, somebody else. Like uh, uh, um, uh, that's the uh, guy with the uh, vixens, uh, Russ mm. Meyer. Was that Russ, Russ Meyer? Yeah, I actually, well, Russ Meyer's got his own credibility there too. So, <laughs> oh, Russ Meyer's great. Yes, and I uh, I, I didn't know him uh, uh, very well, but my partner Michael Hers was pretty friendly with him. And uh, he seemed like a pretty tough guy. I read the book, uh, the unauthorized book about Russ Meyer. <laughs> he like yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was I. I joined the mistake on that one. But okay. so let, we got we got to spend a little bit of time here because at this point we've got about twenty minutes left in the show, and I do want to basically hit on the reason that you're here uh, to also basically promote uh, schmooze us as necessary. Um, you know whore yourself out as necessary possibly to uh when it comes to the promotion of hashtag shakespeare shitstorm oh thank you uh, yeah no no dude dude you're you know you're here to promote this you know so we can make you you know so you can get bank you know you can buy your wife some more cool stuff you know um it's tell us a little bit about it my wife she doesn't understand me Wait, so you had to get them going why'd you get them going <laughs> She's one of the producers, three producers, Justin Martell, mm -hmm. uh, with whom I worked uh, for uh, several years. He was my assistant for several years. Then he produced Return to Newcomb High and Return to Return to Newcomb High. Mm -hmm. John, uh, John Brennan mm -hmm. who, um, uh, uh, produced Return to Newcomb. No, he produced uh, Hashtag Shakespeare Shitstorm. He was uh, my assistant. And he, he and Justin are now one, uh, with Matt Mangerides. Mm -hmm. who work at Troma. They're uh, Joe Bob Briggs' uh, team. They're the producers. Oh, Joe Bob, all right. Yeah, okay. Joe Bob Briggs, uh, uh, last driving. They're doing mm -hmm. that. But at any rate, uh, uh, they produced hashtag Shakespeare Shitstorm uh, with my wife, who was one of the producers. <laughs> and um, uh, she did not produce uh, the successful last driving, but she did produce the very unsuccessful hashtag Shakespeare Shitstorm. She's furious. <laughs> She says that A, the title is a big mistake. She says that A, B, I should have cut things out that uh, 
uh, uh, people over a certain age will be uh, utterly uh, offended and will get us blackballed everywhere. And uh, she said the script was very good. Mm -hmm. The cast was the best I've ever had. The script was probably the best I ever had. Cast was definitely the best I ever had. And I blew it. <laughs> so wait, hold on. Th there were things that she wanted you to take out yes, of a trauma out. movie? She that that me, seems unlikely. She wanted me to, conf, conf, you know, to, to sort of, uh, and she was right. For, uh, no question she was right. But I'm uh, stuck in my way. What are you going to do? Mm. Uh, she hasn't left me after four, we're almost 50 years of marriage. I was just going to say 1974 for you guys. And she's been film commissioner for, or she, fil she was film commissioner for a lot of years there too, which years. also makes it very interesting in some ways. <laughs> years, and now with the new regimes, they want, they're trying to get her to come back. Mm -hmm. I wanted to keep producing Choma movies. Well, you know what? She's got a lot of connections too. So, uh, one of the to totally useless. <laughs> not only are they useless, they're negative. <laughs> <laughs> one of the one of the questions that did come in: Would you ever yeah, consider yeah. doing a dramatic film? Pardon? Would you ever consider doing a dramatic film in the future? A question great, just came in. Good question. I would love to do a dramatic film. Mm -hmm. I I would do right now any genre, anything that's one of a kind that is both entertaining, but is, has something to say. Uh, and I'm not interested, I, I'm very interested in making money, but it doesn't, I don't care if it makes money. If it, if it makes money, gee, wow, that'd be great. Toxic Avenger remake. You know, a lot of the fan uh, people, I, I don't say fanboys anymore because about 40% of our fan base are women, so uh, fan uh, fan people. Yay for that. Uh, they, um, they, they think that, uh, uh, wait a minute, what was I talking about? Talk dramatic, about making a dramatic film. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'd be happy to do mm. anything that's good, that's entertaining, and has, you know, if you see a movie like uh, Poultry Geist or mm -hmm. Trouble, you know, they all have these uh, sociological themes, which is why our films are still around. Toxic Avenger, <laughs> environmental superhero, I don't think much has changed in the environment. So, uh, you know, those four films are still out there. Uh, and same with Class of Newcomb High. Mm -hmm. And Tromeo and Juliet was all about, uh, you know, it, 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 uh, it, 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 they all have, uh, the Terra Firma, they all have, um, you know, these uh, subtexts of uh, social satire or uh, political satire. Mm -hmm. So uh, as long as it's got some kind of a theme to it that, you know, it could be about love. It could be about, uh, you know, we're big on underdogs. We're big on... Uh, Mm. Uh, saving animals and uh, saving the world. Well, obviously saving the world. Uh, so if anybody out there, I, I'm happy to do. In fact, uh, this is an exclusive for uh, Ryan and, and Scott. Um, uh, but uh, currently I am uh, writing with a very talented young man, Martin Murray, and mm -hmm. we are developing a, a script that hopefully I'll direct if I live, live long enough. I can get money for uh, money losing movies. So I can get three or 400,000. Not too much difficulty. And then some of our fans. It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, it's like, nothing, Scott. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> my wife has some rich friends, and, and uh, what, you know, they, they are there to make art. You know, they know they're mm -hmm. going to lose the money. So we can scrape, we can scrape together a, a maximum half a million, maybe less. Uh, yeah, let me, uh, hold on, let me check my wallet. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm willing. I'm willing to do a, a, you know, a script about. Oh, so the script I'm working on now is I've been re, re, uh, revisiting Crime and Punishment. Okay. And All right. I, I think that um, mixing in a script that Gabe Friedman and and Sam, uh, the guy who edits uh, Maxim Magazine, they wrote mm -hmm. a script uh, kind of based on me. Hilarious. <laughs> But I thought if I mix that up with crime and punishment, and we're doing it, it's going to be mm -hmm. great. It's going to open like uh, uh, Hollywood Boulevard with a dead man telling the story. And I, I think it's going to be great, but it's going to take a while to write. So meanwhile, if there's somebody out there with, it can be, it can be dark as hell, dramatic as hell. I would like nothing better not, than not to have 2,000 people uh, uh, <laughs> and 300 zombie Indian chickens. I would well, love to do. I'd love to do an Ed, Edward Albee type play or uh, whatever. You know, I, I, I tend to. I, I enjoy comedy, uh, but I'm ha perfectly happy to do the darkest. Well, um, I, I did have a question. 
regarding one of uh, Troma's, uh, I guess, lesser known icons. And I've I've really loved this character's work, and I would love to see more of him, and especially with the overseas market being as important now as it ever has been. What are the chances of us ever seeing more Sergeant Kabuki Man? I was in. I wonder if you're going to go that direction. One thought, uh, a brilliant thought. Uh, by the way, speaking of open overseas, there is a website called Open Seas on mm-hmm. which you can find some invaluable, priceless Troma NFGs. Really? No. People are paying. <laughs> Troma has its own NFTs right now. now. You this. You're, you're kidding. You you got you have NFT. Oh my Jesus. <clears throat> you can't imagine, and people are paying three hundred thousand dollars for a board ape. We got we got Toxy NFTs. We got Uncle Lloydy NFTs. We got Tromet NFTs. We got, uh, and in fact, we have the first NFT. If you buy the NFT, you get to own my first movie, battle, my first theatrical movie, Battle of Love's Return. You oh, own, wow. if you buy the NFT. You will own that movie. It's your ticket to owning a movie mm-hmm. in which Oliver Stone appears. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's true. You and Lynn Lowry and a bunch of Warhol people and uh, uh, my first. And I'm uh, I'm the major. I'm the star. That's insane. Nice. <laughs> That's- oh, I do have a question I want to ask in this case. Uh, when it came to the scripts themselves, um, I'm not kicking you off. I just wanted the uh, the email. What uh, email can they send you scripts to? I think it's best to uh, send uh, contact me on Twitter, and then I'll okay. put them in touch with. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we, we don't want to necessarily put his information you out there. Hold it. You I didn't know if there was like a general email or like you know send me scripts uh, and possibly you know, PayPal. Better, the yeah. other thing is send hard copy to me, Lloyd Kaufman, Trauma Building, thirty six dash forty, eleventh Street, eleventh one one Street. Uh, Long Island City, New York, one 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 zero six, one 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 zero six. You get all that? Yes. Thirty one dash forty eleventh Street, Long Island City, or Queens. Thirty six dash forty eleventh Street, Long Island City, Queens. Brilliant. And um, uh, I prefer things. I prefer hard copies. It's hard for me to being a very old person. It's hard to read stuff online. I don't know whether you know that, but both my you can't read anything now. Both the commission. <laughs> Both the commissioner and I uh, tend to, uh, you see, look at this. By the way, another exclusive for uh, from the set uh, podcast. Mm-hmm. Lloyd Kaufman does not have AIDS. <laughs> oh, no, I do have AIDS. Lloyd Kaufman. No, they're called assistants. Right. We do not have COVID. I do not have COVID. All right. <laughs> now, you see here, look at this. This is what the commissioner and I read just about every day. It's It's a... Hard copy of the uh, elitist newspaper, which mm-hmm. was better that than the Post. I'm just saying. I hate it. Yeah, the New York Post is so much better. <laughs> the commissioner, the commissioner insists on the New York Times. Nice. Well, um, it's, it's upscale. It's quality. You know. You can't fight City Hall. I don't know. I read Cracked, so you know. Because I mean, the amount of trivia you pick up on Cracked. Um, well, the younger people uh, get their news from the uh, uh, from the. The phone. I just I can't read that small stuff. Yeah, I don't even know where my phone <laughs> is. <laughs> you want me to call the phone real quick? No. Um, oh yeah, yeah, do that. I think but, I left uh, in, yeah. left my phone in Christie's. Oh my god. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. But uh, yeah, Shakespeare. No, it's okay. Shakespeare should start. Let's promote the snot out of that for the last ten minutes here. It's yeah. a really. I, you know, I don't need to. I don't mean to brag, but it's a really no. Do please film. brag. If you. <laughs> If you can get over the the raunchy stuff and get over some of the the very uh, how should I say it uh, cancellating uh, <laughs> substance. Cancellating. My wife is just certain I'm going to be canceled from the entire planet. Uh, but it's it's I think I think the trauma fans are going to love it. I think it's right mm-hmm. on you got on your wavelength. And, and in fact, Scott and Ryan. If you email me, I'll send you the link. You can watch. maybe review it, mm-hmm. right? Review it, even if yeah, you well, hate you send it. it. You send it to us, by the way. Thank you for that. It's awesome. Yeah, no, no. I mean, yeah. the, when it comes to movie reviews, they've usually gone to me, unfortunately, because I'm the only one brave enough to go to the theater. Yeah. So I will glowingly go ahead and check this out, and I will be <laughs> honest. That's the one thing you can count for me. I would be mm-hmm. honest about it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Did we send the link? Rocco sent it. Yeah. Was it? Uh, Hashtag Shakespeare Shitstorm? Yes, it was. 
because uh, Rocco is kind of a jokester. He might have put the uh, W does. That's dollars. the other thing he sent then. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why. What? Okay. Yeah. I'll have he to ask did. him about that one. Other that other thing. Yeah. <laughs> keeping put, things from you. Always oh. keeping things from you. <laughs> but uh, yeah. He did go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. 33 to the uh, Sundance mm -hmm. Film Festival and said it was hashtag shit storm. Yeah, I don't think Sundance is going to take it. But I mean, honestly, here's the thing. Oh, they, uh, of... Taboo 33 got in. Did it really? Hey, Shakespeare Shitstorm didn't get in, but apparently, hashtag uh, S. Rocco, I think it got in. Well, I'm sure someone like Bizarre AC would take that, you know. Um... Well, Sundance would take it. I think they did take it. S. Rocco, I think Sundance took it. Taboo 33. Wow. By the way, I, didn't, I don't think there's too many movies that have 33 iterations. Probably not. Taboo, mm. I think, has 34 iterations. You know, Toxic yeah. Avengers got four iterations. Yes. A movie that nobody's ever heard of, right? A movie that the Variety and Hollywood Reporter and the New York Times won't even review. Well, uh, I just, you know, well that's because it's beneath them, kind of. You know. Broadway, a Broadway song and dance fest. Stephen mm -hmm. Sondheim and the time and the New York Times uh, ignores it. Uh, right? and, and 50 years of Uncle Lloyd, 50 years hiring uh, uh, people. Uh, right, I've been paying payroll taxes with my my partner Michael Hers. Uh, mm -hmm. 50 years. We own real estate. We pay real estate taxes in New York. Uh, uh, what more do they want? Right, they don't even God damn. review it's our films. It's the it's the violins. It's the drama. It's the dra uh, I can't even say the word dramatic. There we go. Uh, they want the drama. They want the dark. The brooding. You know the gravitas. The gra Always the gravitas. Yeah. yeah. You know, but uh, oh, the museum of, Mo of the moving image. You know mm -hmm. that, Scott. You like that. Mm -hmm. uh, the museum of the moving image uh, is going to premiere. Hashtag Shakespeare Shitstorm. Nice. Eighth in uh, in the museum. And by the way, we shot most of the film in Astoria, Queens, which is where the museum is. So it's kind of an interesting, uh, it'll be a great evening. It's terrific. Nice. And, and then uh, the, the Village Cinema, uh, or Cinema Village, as we like to call it, the Cinema Village will open uh, the same night, but at 11 o'clock. And then mm -hmm. uh, it's there for a week only, unless it's a big success, in which case we hope to be held over. And I think with all the publicity, Scott will be doing on uh, on Grinder, and Ryan will be doing on on the uh, uh, Christian uh, Seven Hundred Club uh, <laughs> and Plumbers <laughs> Only. Yes, I think we got it right. Yeah, yeah, you got, got, yeah, yeah, I got my, I got my, I got my. Well, see, you think you have your thing with Joel Steen coming up, right? And uh, but Susan yeah. Meyer or whatever it is. So. <laughs> so, well, I'm trying to but get right after we, I review the eyes of Tammy Faye for them, of course. There you go. By but way, we got about five. That. Tammy Faye movie is great. It's is a it? wonderful. Oh, yeah, no. The movie. transformation is ridiculous. Mm. It's terrific, right? Yeah. <laughs> and um, um, yeah. go on. No, I was going to say, we got about five minutes left. Uh, so oh, do we really? Exclusive. Yeah, we do. Yeah, dude, we're no. 750 right now. We're 750. So if people want to get in touch with you, tro uh, you said Twitter is probably the best way. That, that's, uh, at, you know. at Lloyd Kaufman, Twitter, at Lloyd. Kaufman, L L O I D K A U F M A N. I do I do all that myself. If I don't respond, uh, uh, be persistent. And then uh, LloydKaufman.com, my my uh, fan site, they send me the messages. And then uh, you can uh, contact uh, TraumaDirect.com and uh, buy lots of merchandise. TraumaDirect, <laughs> including is there is there toxic is there toxic crusader stuff too? Yes. Oh my God. Nice. There's, there's new action figures. But you don't need to go to TraumaDirect.com. Uh, Walmart has this big Mego Topsy and and mm -hmm. then 7-Eleven uh, and 7-something uh, else. And the, the Topsy's been reborn. It's uh, pretty exciting. And it's thanks to you guys. It's thanks to to uh, uh, from the set, uh, from the movie set and mm -hmm. uh, Fangoria and uh, Suicide Girls and all, you know, all, all the people at the convention. Boss. That we're here. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. you know, so, and Joe Bob Briggs has shown a bunch of our movies. And thank you, Joe Bob. And uh, um, one more actually, question. it's funny that you bring up merchandise. Just, I am really curious. Considering we are going to be getting a new Toxic Avenger movie. Wait a minute. Are you curious, Yellow, by any chance? Eh, no. But 
That's a uh, that's a movie. Ryan knows what I'm talking about, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ryan that's Walters. why I was like, a eh, little bit, a little bit. Um, how <laughs> much <laughs> different looking is Toxy going to be in the new movie versus the kind of look we've always known? Because I mean, even buying a Toxy mask mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. just iconic in itself. Am I going to have to get a new mask, or is the same one still going to be good? Well, I have signed an NDA. I don't know what that means. Ah. Uh, I tried. All I can tell you is there has never been a better script. The script that Macon Blair wrote for uh, the the Toxic Avenger reimagining is better than the original. It's very good. It's really good. Nice. I, I think the fans are going to love it. I, I think there's enough real trauma spirit and image and R rating for the fans. And I think it's going to open up... Uh, a, a, a more mainstream world. You know, it's been 35 years. I mm-hmm. think society has progressed to uh, be on kind of the trauma wavelength. So who knows? Nice. Well, then I will go be going to the premiere with mask on. I will buy a mop from Dollar Tree if I have to. Nice. A tutu I can't promise because yeah. my waistline. I'll wear know. the true. I'll wear the tutu. I don't care. <laughs> well, let's. Do, I forgot. Well, we're in New Jersey. Why don't we find a theater? And let's do a hashtag Shakespeare. And you guys idea. do a Q&A. I'll come out there. We'll have a great evening. Oh, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll turn some town into trauma for a night. We, yeah, I was going to say, I, I got, well, I'll talk to you guys off air. We've got to wrap this up, unfortunately. I mean, you know, they got to do the commercials and the whole thing. That actually sort of I'll pays off money. Kevin so Smith, who, you know, I've been in that comic book show. I've done yeah. signings at his comic book store. Tromaville, New Jersey. You know, I, I, why don't we try to? Maybe there's some theater you guys uh, like and who like. I, gotta, you. I literally have that in mind. The show you curate the show. So yeah, I literally uh, yeah. have One that in mind. One last comment before we have to sign off. Yeah, uh, love, less comment. Love you, Uncle Lloyd. Uh, basically, you know, any full, it will, you know, looking forward to a full length documentary in Shakespeare Shitstorm. Uh, yeah, basically, play me out. You know. <laughs> And so, now the dulcet tones. <laughs> we now end our broadcasting day, and we hope that you have fully enjoyed your experience here tonight. From all of us to all of you, stay well, America. And good night. <laughs> this land was made for you and me. For you and me. Ah. Have a great day. And Stay awesome. In class, not for the.